What's going on guys? Better back with more Codex and we're on exercise 13 Power Rangers, the style attribute. So far the appearance of our pages has been pretty skeletal. Just some plain text with the occasional list image or link. But what if there were ways to improve this with our HTML files? As it turns out there are. First we can apply a style attribute to any HTML element to stylize certain aspects of that element, such as what color the text should be. The attribute uses a special syntax where a style is made of a property, i.e. color and value, red, separated by a colon. Multiple styles can be applied to a single element, but they must be separated by a semicolon. The following is the rendered paragraph with our style applies, uh, styles applied to the span elements. Roses are red, violets are blue. The color property sets the color for the text of an element. The text decoration adds the text formatting, such as underline, similar to what the bold and uh, B, I, U, and S elements do. This is actually a language called CSS, which we will learn in the next course. The style element, using the style attribute for a few elements is one thing, but what if we want to add styles to a bunch of different elements, or what if we want to add the same styles to each instance of a specific element? Alternatively, the style element can be used in the head to style our elements in the body. Elements can be selected inside the style element using curly braces. Remember when we learned about the class and ID attributes, inside the style element you can use a period class or hashtag ID to select one or more specific elements that have a matching class or ID respectively. In 1993, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers premiered on TV, Fighting Forces of Evil. The five original Rangers were each represented by a different color. Create a new file called Power Rangers, copy-paste this code in the body element, insert a style element in the head, then apply the following styles in the style element. So let's copy and paste this here. I'm going to run that. It doesn't run because we don't have the rest of our code. So let's go ahead and do that. Doc type HTML html head body all right still nothing whoops i was trying to do this here After that, we're going to do, all right, it still won't run. Um, oh, well, it's not going to run because we don't have anything inside. All right, but in the head, it wants us to do style element. Apply the following styles in the style element. So we're going to do a width of 50%. Alright, let me take a peek up here really quick. Style. Okay. So then we're going to do a width. Of. I don't know if this is right. This is not right, so div, um, and then we do width of 50%, height of 100 pixels. And a different a different background color for each div divider element based on their ID. All right, so period for class, which okay, so this should be 
dot ranger div run. We still don't see anything. Um, and then class uh, red ranger background color red. Okay, so that worked. Um, I'm just going to copy this here. Blue, black, yellow, pink, and then we'll just change this here. Blue, blue, black, black, yellow, yellow, pink, and pink. And let's run that. Okay, so there we got our Power Rangers there. Um, a different background color for each div element based on their ID. All right, so let's get a hint. Style. We got ranger div with the width and the height, and then there we go. All right, so we did that one pretty good. On to the next one. All right, MySpace top eight. Congrats, well done, you finished another chapter. Here's a quick recap. Every HTML file should have a doc type HTML. Let's actually look at that. Are we at the end? It looks like we are at the end, cool. Um, Every HTML file should have a doc type HTML declaration and an HTML element. The head element contains important info for our page, such as the title. Comments are great for documentation or excluding unwanted code. Attributes like class ID or source can enhance the way our elements are organized, present, present, and work on our page. We can add styles to our page using either the style element or the style attribute. Let's put your knowledge to the test by creating a fun HTML project from scratch. For an entire generation, a website called MySpace was... Okay, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and do this because this isn't going to change. And I want to have this set up. So head slash head body slash body and then our closing HTML. I'm going to go ahead and run that to clear this Power Rangers thing. And that's our basic, basic, basic. So, all right. Um, for an entire generation, a website called MySpace was the entry to the world of social networks. Tom was everyone's friend. One of the iconic features of the MySpace era was the top eight, which allowed users to select eight friends to just play on their profile page. It changed the social dynamics in schools everywhere. Oh my gosh, did you remove so-and-so from the top eight? You've put me in your top friends, BFF. What's her name and what's his face are not friends? Let's create your own MySpace top eight with HTML. Make a new file called top eight. We'll provide you with a style element with the styles already inside. Go ahead and copy paste this into the head of your file. So we're going to put this here. Okay. Um, next, let's add the HTML. Add a div element. All right, so that's style. Uh, I don't like copying and pasting this because it puts everything out of whack here. Um, that's not how that should be, but that's how I'm going to leave it for now. And I want space between the head and the body. Okay, and then in the body, we want add a div element. Div element with ID equal to top eight wrapper. Close the div. Um, inside, add an H1. So inside an H1 element with, okay, just an H1 element that says my top friends, followed by two div elements. that each have a class. I should have done one and copied. 
class equal to friend card. And add the following an H2 header with a class equal to friend name. And an image element. Okay. Okay, so um, friend card, friend name. Let's run that. We got the my top friends thing. So my top friends, H1 friend card. Okay, so all right, let's let's go back because I've messed up now. All right, inside add a development top eight wrapper. I'm just gonna start over here. I'm gonna leave that. Top eight wrapper inside an H1 element that says my top friends, followed by two developments with a class equals top a row okay so copy this paste that all right inside each add four more div elements with a class equal to friend card So that's one, two, three, four. And then in here, we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Inside each div with a friend card, add the following. So we're gonna add a H2 element with the class equal to friend name. And I'm just going to make up fake ones. All right, there's a ghost face there. Oh, and inside each div, we got to add an image element. So here's what we're going to do. All right, so that's ghost face. And then inside there, we also need image source equals that. And then alt equals ghost face and run. All right, and that's really big. So I'm gonna put width equal to 200 picks. Uh, no, height, that's not right. I don't need to do all that, I don't think. Man, I forgot how to do this. Um,
Yeah, I was right. Equals. There we go. Um, I'm going to change this. There we go. That's better. All right. So that's one friend there. All right, let's um, let's do some more. We're gonna go back with the whole Harry Potter. Actually, let me copy this and paste this inside of each one. And then I can just go change it. Or actually, we can just have it all be ghost face. just because run so that's our eight what if I change this to this should be smaller let's just do a hundred see what happens because it should essentially be on two rows, I think. I think my pictures are definitely too big. And then I can only make this window but so big. So let's run that. And there we go. They're on two, just like my space used to be. Um, let's get the hint. Okay, I think... Um, let me just read over this one more time. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. So that's what MySpace used to look like for you folks who were born before MySpace age. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. But I think on the next one, we're going to be jumping into the CSS. Let's hit complete here. Close. We've earned a new badge. Let's go back to HTML. And there are more HTMLs, but these you have to be in the club to do, um, which I'm not in. And... I don't know that I'm going to be in. I might do it, but for the purposes of this uh, YouTube channel here, we are doing free. Um, if you guys would like to see this, let me know, because I might just do it anyways for my own uh, practice and to see how the rest of this course goes. And I'm not quite sure. Let's click in here and see how. Okay, so this is what it costs if you want to do... Um, have access to everything, then it's $7.99 a month, build yearly, or $11.99 a month, build monthly. So you guys let me know in the comments if you would like to see these paid sections, um, and maybe I'll do that, but I would kind of want to stick to the free if that's what you guys are wanting to see. But anyways, I thank you guys for hanging out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye!